with you today with the layout that uses both old and new stash and some other bits and pieces too. My photo is a little bit smaller than the 6x4 and I've used these papers from Fancy Pants and Basic Grey, very old stash, 6x6 paper pads to back my photo. I also did some fussy cutting which I can't stand but I really like that little flag. So now I'm going through my stash from Kitaholic Kits which is an Australian based kit company. They had rather large elements, I think they're Maggie Holmes and normally I would find them hard to use but somehow they worked for this page. The adventure sort of word that you can just see there, gone now, I did myself with my own handwriting and cut it out on my brother scan and cut machine. I've got some old flare and some new flare going on because I like to use flare and sometimes I forget about it. Now this photo isn't the best photo in the world which is why I've used white cardstock and why I've kept my layers once I do them behind the photo quite skinny. The adventure word was cut out from old packaging so it's a real creamy colour so I have to fix that up later because it just doesn't go with the white. Using my glue stick again, I'm never fussy about putting glue right around the edges, you just need something to adhere it to your photo. I've used my little paper trimmer and then I've ripped along the bottom and I do that for each layer. So trim then rip. Here you can see me ripping that last piece off. And now we're going to look at that banner, I think. Oh no, that's right, I thought it needed some more background, something in the background, but not too strong, just subtle. I've got these little alphabet stamps recently for some happy mail and I've pulled out the L-O-V-E and sort of spelt love randomly, very randomly around my photos. So just to ground it really on the page but not to overwhelm it. I've made sure it's like there's a little bit of word peeking out of the top and a little bit more over the edge. Once more popping it up on dimensional tape the only problem with this was when I eventually go to pop a flare on the side of the photo, it has to go up quite high because that's popped it up quite high. Found a little paper clip and thought that worked really well and eventually I'll put pop a little embellishment under the paper clip at the same time. So here we go, sticking it down. I worked a bit differently this time in that I pulled out my embellishments before I actually created my page. Usually I do that the other way around so I guess this is like creating a mini kit and then scrapping with it. Not that I meant to, it's just how it happened. Once again I never pre-plan my pages, I get the photo out and I go from there so nothing at all has been pre-planned on this one. That tag I got from a friend and I loved it because it said love story and this is about having a baby but oops a daisy, stuck it on the wrong way so I had to pull it off and then of course it was sticky on one side so I had to get some pull some plastic packaging out of the bin so it didn't stick to the paper while I stuck it to the other side. But then I noticed this little gold, um, what do you call them, stickery thing. I thought, oh, that'll make a good embelly and it ends up under the gold paper clip. So without meaning to, it looks like gold becomes an accent because once again, because it was sticky on the wrong side of the tag, I just added some gold glitter to soak up the stickiness basically. It's not a mistake, it's just, um, I don't know, it becomes more individual when you develop things as they go. <laughs> so now I've got my flag and my tag and this little birdie which I would never normally use but I love the way he, he worked from my step granddaughter, great granddaughter's pregnant belly, granddaughter rather, she's pregnant with my step great granddaughter so here we go, I'm colouring that word so it doesn't stand out all creamy, nice tealy colour. And the word goes from the pregnant belly to the adventure, which is what life is all about, one big adventure when you're having children. A bit of gold washi tape, like I said, I didn't intend to make gold accents, but because of my, inverted commas, mistake with my tag and finding that little gold seal, the little round gold seal, which I will fussy cut out later, looks like it's gold washy. I like to rip my washi in half and I find this the easiest way to do it and I always, always, always use some glue to stick my washi down because honestly it comes up. doesn't matter how you do it, it comes up. Excuse my headshots and I'm really sorry that some of this orientation is 
I don't know, skew with. I don't know what happened. Um, my camera stopped filming at one stage too, so <laughs> some things get added. A little sticker under that bird actually at the bottom of the photo gets added um, that you just won't see, but it says things in life take time. Good things in life take time, I think. It's just typed and then I've cut it out with the circle punch, but you'll see that at the very end. Meanwhile, another large new embellishment from Maggie Holmes and up the top it goes. It just fitted nicely up there. And of course, one has to add a bit more washi to tie it in nicely. I've got the classic triangle going here, top left, bottom right, and then along the bottom and then up again. That's fine. Nothing wrong with doing the classic triangle. Stitching works a treat. I always, always, always put some sticky on the back so it doesn't come undone. And I ran a line of stitching through the title. Why not? I think it looks really cool. So here we go with the other embellishments. And I play around a lot. You don't see me playing around on the video because I've cut it out. I'm going to add that bread. And I don't like my mat being ruined. So I have a little mat that goes underneath with a little bit of foam on top. And you can just see me there pointing out my hubby made a nice sharp point on a little screwdriver for me which is a bit wider than that sticky pinny thingy throughy and makes it easier to attach my brads. So I'm quite happy about that. I don't use brads a lot and I should because really they're just big enamel dots and we all use enamel dots don't we? So it was good to use one and there you can see that gold seal and I've added a baby sticker which I made myself in a little heart. Here we go with the flare. It took a bit of work to get this up high enough using wastage from my pop dot dimensional stickery paddy thingy. <laughs> uh, this took me about five minutes. It was really frustrating. I was starting to sweat, but I haven't made you watch it for five minutes. That would be cruel and unusual punishment, wouldn't it? Anyway, I did leave a little bit in because it just goes to show that you know, some things are harder in scrapping than others. Some things come together easily, but I wanted that flare there because it covered a little bit of her arm and pointed to the belly, really, which is cute. So I've added a little bit of journaling onto the side of the tag. And the next thing I do is add another flare at the bottom there. This flare was quite large anyway, so I just put a sticky round on it. They're quite good, those. I like those. They're handy to have in your stash, those sticky round thingies. Okay, so here we go with the bit of wood that was in the Kitaholics kit. It comes from Corbett Creations. That's an Australian firm, if you're in Australia. And I have a scattering technique with my hearts, just like flipping them around, and where they land is usually where they stay. The arrow took a little bit more work, but we got there. And then it just looked a bit plain on the background. But I didn't want to fill it in too much. I didn't want to spray too much ink. I did splash a bit of ink over eventually, a little bit of dilutions. So I just scattered some sequins around and as always attached them with my liquid pearls and you get that lovely little dot in the middle that I just showed you nicely close up. Some new puffy stickers from L. I've always called it L Studio, but apparently it's Alley Studio. Anyway. A couple were quite fitting and I have a little doily die that's cute so I used that behind it up the top left and thought the happy worked with a little pin paper pin cluster. I, I felt oh I had to find the date so I put the date up the top when I found it. it didn't fit on with my tag stitching anyway so that was nice. I, I like the idea of sort of documenting in two different places and the hearts were a little bit too woody so I used a paint pen to go over them went around my word and that's pretty much it so here are the close-ups I hope you enjoyed it I hope you get some inspiration and you love scrapping of course and that you have a good time doing your own scrapping and thank you for watching and goodbye for now cheers <laughs>